Well, what a lovely, lovely day. Absolutely glorious weather here as we welcome you to a football match of considerable significance. Great consequence in this part of the world. They've been talking about this one for a while and they have rolled up to it in fantastic numbers. You should have seen the roads outside the ground in the hour or two leading up to it. It has been bumper to bumper, the traffic has been extraordinary, but the level of expectation is also very, very high. And uh, these supporters who uh, were queuing around the block for their tickets as soon as we knew the date of the fixture, well, now they can't wait for it to begin. And begin it will any second now. So what a stage for the players to take to here ahead of such an important game. They've got on the way here pretty promptly. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? Yeah, Mohamed Salah. And it's mainly because of his frightening pace. He's a huge threat when he's running at defenders, but he's also proved in recent times that he's a top-class finisher. Opposition defences are going to have to be wary about playing a high line because there's nothing this guy relishes more than space to run into. And once he gets there, he's gone. I think the opposition defence agree too. He's going to be the source of so many of their... Going for goal! It's in! What about that, Tim Begley? It's almost criminal to see a defence fail to identify someone who thrives when it comes to shooting stats. They knew, and yet they didn't need and they paid the price and deserved it. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Look, he's the one everyone expects to put the ball in the net. That's what he's paid to do. Rafael Varane. Kolarov. Griezmann. Arsenal are very much in charge here. Dominating possession and a goal to the good. Out towards... Great lead! about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front they really commit forward in numbers too it was all very well drilled Arsenal get themselves a two-goal cushion. No doubt as to who has the momentum here now. The only doubt is how many is coming. Tony Kroos. Tony Kroos. Looking cross-field, changing the point of attack. Arsenal are ahead here, it has been a good half for them. And it's Bale. Kroos tries to get it forward quickly. Forward it goes. Now it's Mohamed Salah. It's Salah! Really well taken goal! On the cusp of half-time, he delivers with perfect timing. Even some of the opposing fans are clapping that. You just have to appreciate it. You know, what was notable in that, Peter, was the fact that he didn't try to blast it. He chose placement instead and delivered a peach.
Juventus get themselves back into contention. Well, it was important they didn't get ahead of themselves and lose their discipline. And that'll be the last act of the first half. So a really good half of football. Three goals and just one separating them. It's kind of a hard one to call, Peter, isn't it? I mean, from what we've seen so far, both sides have provided ample evidence that they can add more goals, and I'm sure their respective managers have reminded them that the next one will be pretty crucial. So it's going to be interesting to see how the teams come out for the next period. Well, it remains very delicately poised, and based on the, the promise we've seen through the first 45 minutes, I wouldn't be surprised if this takes another twist or two. It certainly would be in keeping. Arsenal head into the half-time break with a narrow lead, two goals to one. And we're off again. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. The movement was good, but the pass lacked authority, uh, a cause of mild frustration. Griezmann. And now they can launch a counter. Just brushed off the ball there. There's a long ball. Coman. Now it's Griezmann. Neymar. Got a shot away. Oh, the ball's come loose. He's had a good look and given a corner. has been cleared and it's Neymar but this is exactly the approach they have to take now Peter well hit and hope is just about the sum of it isn't it Jim well there's no two ways about it this is what they have to do Koeman Chilwell He's got away. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. Back in once more. Oh, that's not going to find its target. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Now the counter. Almost 75 minutes on the clock now. Bale looking to get on the end of this. <laughs> and that has been cleared. So we sit forward. Coleman. the through ball, chance, has a hit! Back of the net! Juventus are level! Jim, your thoughts? Well, considering he has a bit of a, a shoot-down side policy, he was the one player that should have been picked up then. It was both careless and costly for Moran City. So here comes the substitution. Well, his stamina was called into question then, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with his heart and, and the effort he put in. He was very willing, though, not quite able. This has become one superb game of football. Juventus surely know by now that they've put so much work into producing the equaliser that they'll battle on for a winner. You know, it's, it's all one-way traffic for them now, and they simply have to capitalise on it. Griezmann! Oh, that was no routine save. 
The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. Looking to win it with time against them. And he's going long. And he heaves it forward. And the referee brings it to a close. No winner here, but an intriguing game. The result probably a fair reflection. It has finished all square. Which in, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Yeah, this looked the most likely outcome, but we've had a, a good variety in this game, despite it being anticlimactic. So that's it from us. Many thanks go to Jim Beglin. Goodbye from us.